All right, my friends, we are back with the Five Fish V6. This is an underwater camera, uh, well, ROV, I would say, a remote operated vehicle. It uh, does have a tether on the back that goes to a radio that establishes a Wi Fi connection that talks to my phone. It's very complicated, but it still lets me get some great photos from the camera up front. You'll see that I also mounted up a GoPro Hero 7. This has a GPS location unit on it which allows me if I ever do find the drone to at least know where the location of it is no more talk let's get it into the water swim fish swim there you can see it in the water I bring it to the top and then I can bring it down all right, here we are at 1.2 feet below the pond. Welcome to 22,000 inches below the pond. I am your host, Aaron Cousteau, and this is your uh, five fish interface on your tablet. You can see your depth, you can see the water temperature, you can see the, the drone or ROV in relation to its position in the water in the lower left hand corner. So right now I'm on a downward angle looking straight down at this biomass in the water. I call it a biomass because this pond is teeming with life, uh, whether it be microscopic or uh, a little bit larger. This is what the GoPro looks like. I just turned on my LED lights and I'm trying to figure out if the light is going to help me today or not. And the reason why the uh, the water is so green is because all the algae is starting to grow or algae or whatever you want to call it. 20 feet deep, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner, I do have a compass. So it's generally helping me uh, look around. And I know a ton of people scrub through this footage to help me look. Thank you. Here's the first where did this giant boulder come from? I've never seen this before. Uh, I would call this a five fish killer because we've got that tether on there. I would hate to get wrapped around a, a boulder like that because getting you out of there could be very challenging. Now, top right hand corner, it says 95. That's 95% on the battery. And you can see that I'm recording this uh, right from my iPhone as a screen capture. This is what the five fish is actually seeing through the lens with the watermark on there of the depth and temperature. I'm just looking for my drone. The DJI Phantom Vision 2 was a large uh, flying drone we should see at least a blade or something a lot of people saying that that this the drone may have sunk down into the silt but I don't know if that's the case because that giant rock was sitting right on top or was it was it just the tip of a, of a mountain and so here I'm just swimming along I'm like oh a worm like oh there's my first worm at least I'm seeing something you know kind of interesting other than these little jiggers that move around by twitching around they're, they're kind of a worm as well 26.6 feet deep can you imagine having a backyard pond that's this look at look at I'm looking up at the sun from 26 feet below that's what it looks like if you're drowning in the pond by the way <laughs> I'm waiting to find a skeleton down here I'm so glad I haven't so here's the bottom again really not a whole lot to see in here let me know if you're still watching at this point are you a treasure hunter like me do you scrub through these videos and you're you're watching for the drone at the same time i am here what is this i thought okay finally something interesting to look at and really i'll flip over with my gopro not a whole lot to be looking at here just a shape so onward onward to a new area you can see i've been down there for 16 minutes already oh hello mr worm my kid likes to call them joey worms <laughs> there's there's joey worms mate they're very slow moving i guess even though it's warm and i'm 25 feet down <laughs> so still looking around still on my way just moving my way through the murky water really trying to keep an eye out for a prop or a leg or you know the camera from my drone Nada. Nothing. Look at all these little blue worms. Okay, so this is as close to the bottom as I can go. I can set my depth lock to be there, and then I can float forward, right, without doing any prop wash. Because if you get too close to the bottom, it just does tons of dirt and soil. Look at this. One, two worms, three worms, four, four. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> it freaked me out when I first saw it. I'm like, oh my god. It's like a biomass 
of meat worms. <laughs> I showed this to my kid at 28 feet down. He's like, Dad, it looks like spaghetti. And I didn't know what I had discovered here. If there's any biologists that are watching that knows what I'm looking at here, I think these worms basically were trying to save themselves from being drowned and they came up from the ground, just like we see on a rainy day on a sidewalk. Um, but these guys, they ain't moving, which means I don't think there's a lot of fish down here that would be eating these. But if somebody's afraid of worms, this is definitely the video for <laughs> swimming in a pond. This is why this pond would be very itchy if you swam in it and came out, which I did one year to get one of my RC boats. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty weird. So I thought, okay, well, if this is a nightmare for someone, I might as well get the heck out of here. Continue my drone. Let's sail along the bottom. Look how green it is. I could almost use like an amber light, like if I could change the color of the LEDs, that would be very helpful for me. Uh, oh, there's prop wash. Ah, totally getting stuck there. Um, and what's happening is, look at, the, look at the sub in the lower left hand corner. I'm trying to figure out, I know I have to get off depth lock and raise the sub a few feet, then redo depth lock and move forward. But then I'm like, oh, there's still weeds. Is it stuck in my prop? So again, I'm trying just to get out of there and move away and then re-angle down. There's my lights. So you can kind of see it, it does help, but if I had an amber light or a way to change the hue, I could change the light to meet my uh, circumstance, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't have a lot of reflection of white off of these little microorganisms. I've been going for 26 minutes at this time. I've been underwater with this drone. 13 degrees, I keep traveling around. What is that? Nothing. It was obviously a box that I did not pay any attention to. And I'm still floating here. I come up to 16 feet now. The bottom does change. You know, it's only 34 feet uh, at the deepest part for like a, a few feet. And then the whole sides gradually get uh, higher as we go. So my next goal will be to get some way to map this area out so I can search one area and then move to another area without um, you know, worrying about the, anything and missing anything. Look at this, this is how much of a nerd I know I am. I'm like, ooh, I found a shelf. I'm taking a shelfie right now. Yeah, I know, I'm a dad. <laughs> Here is this underwater shelf. I thought, okay, so I'm at nine feet. I'm very close to the edge. Maybe I dropped the drone around nine feet. And uh, being in there for six years at this point in the film is a very long time. I know the chances of me finding it are like slim to none. This is like a fishing trip for me. I just go out to relax, practice my underwater uh, flying or sailing. And there's another big rock that could grab my tether if I'm not careful. <laughs> So I'm looking around the rock to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing. I'm going to back up a little bit and then go around or up over the rock is, is what I would prefer to do. Here I am, 10 feet, maneuvering my way around. You can see I've been going east and west, trying to, to, trying to uh, go along the shore. And then what the heck is this? What the heck is this? I came along and found this at 7 feet in. And I'm like, okay, this is a slab of concrete but what the heck would this slab of concrete be doing in here then i'm like okay maybe this is where the skeleton is i don't really want to see a skeleton i can't post the video <laughs> look at this i'm pretty sure this is rebar that's coming through there um, and again another five fish killer because if i get anything wrapped around uh, those pieces i know that i'm going to be in big trouble but i'm trying to have a good look trying to figure out how in the in a pond that there's this big broken slab of concrete it makes no sense at all and I am not seeing my drone in this image believe me when I get home with multiple cameras and hours worth of footage I scrub through every single second to see if I saw my drone uh, but a second set of eyes is always the best uh, it does help the most you can see I'm, I'm looking above the water or I'm looking up the water uh, and now I'm looking in the areas where I know the weeds are going to grow the tallest here's the slab 
this area I'm gonna lose searching here within the next month because it'll all become so high, all the weeds will become so tall, I won't be able to get the uh, props in there without uh, damaging the props or getting them tangled. So it's a very small window of time I have during the year uh, to find this, this drone. And then there's that slab again. So really having a good look, making sure that I didn't uh, miss anything here. We got to see the worm cemetery. <laughs> we got to see these huge random boulders that could catch my five fish if I wasn't careful. We got to go down to uh, 27, 28 feet. Uh, still absolutely nothing. I'm beginning to wonder. Someone commented, they're like, you should sink some boats in there and try to go and find them. And I'm like, I already sank a drone in there it's almost impossible <laughs> and for keeners that know I did lose the top of my fire rescue boat uh, on the other side of the pond so yes I may make uh, an attempt to go and find that one day uh, but as you can see here, I'm really not having a whole luck. I went all the way back out again, 23 feet. Uh, I can't believe it's 12 degrees in this water, even though it's so deep. Now I see low battery. Look at this, an hour and 13 minutes of runtime. Not only runtime, but recording, stability, it's communicating to me. Uh, so an hour and 13 minutes is amazing. Uh, I know I have to work my way back to the shore. Basically a big failed attempt number four to try to find my drone uh, but it was absolutely a blast as I come to the top here and uh, I know uh, my GoPro is already like on zero battery uh, so it's great to have you guys along thanks for the dive today I hope that we get to go back out let me know in the comment section did you even watch this video did you get this far in the video do you want me to do some more Thanks, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.